少女的经验，上来。I will have the truth. <laughs> Later that night, at our room inside the police station. Oh wait. Did we just leave Nanako by herself? I'll hold on to this. Ooh, Dojima, you confiscate my phone? Uh oh. You can you at least read what it says? Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Okay, why is the dachi here? Uh, dude, this is an interrogation. Why is the dachi here? Is it supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one thing? Or are they gonna have the whole entire police battalion like just watching me? Is it like is this? Okay. Uh, whew. uh, tell them the whole truth. Uh oh. Persona? People going inside a TV? Oh god. <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. <laughs> you won't listen. Big boy Dojima won't listen. Enough! That's enough! But I'm saying the truth. I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. All right. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Is it just me or this room hella dark? Y'all need to buy better lighting. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. Like, look. The only light in this room is that table lamp. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. I thought she don't want to hear you lecturing me, bro. Like seriously, you owe me hundreds of dollars for just chilling in the place, in in Dojima's place. So yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That person's head, it looks like Chia's hair. Well, Chia's hair is like, what, well, goes up to her ears. But it, it, it goes down like this. You know what? I really think it's a hood. Do you think it's a hood? But then again, it's wearing a suit. Because the suit like has like a sharp edge. Oh. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Alright, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Alright. Can you give me some food, some water? It's a wig. People, uh, Pat really hating on Adachi there. Dude, he owes us hundreds of dollars, bro. Meanwhile, at the Juness grocery department. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? <laughs> Adachi's head looks like a mango. <laughs> well, that's the first, that's the first time I've heard that. It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because... <laughs> Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've entered the information age. <laughs> yeah, but your brain is still behind the Bronze Age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Yosuke. He gave, he gave him a Nokia. He's like, this phone will outlast you. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. Uh-oh, they're gonna get caught.
What? He's not picking up. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was calling Teddy. It's raining right now, so I was gonna remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Ah, uh, well... I wanna go to Nana-chan's place. I promise to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. <laughs> it's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. <laughs> These guys are good guys, bro. Seriously. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke! My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. Wait, what? He's still not picking up. Okay, I thought I thought he called home, like Nanako should be answering. I'm using a Nokia to watch this. <laughs> You use four Nokia phones to support your bed? Oh my god, bro. If you dissect, if, if you dissect the uh, body vest, <laughs> it's, in order to protect the uh, police force or FBI or whatever, it's like chains of Nokia phones, bro. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nanako, answer. Uh -huh. Oh. Hey, Nanako chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took Big Pro to the police station. Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, 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 what? He got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk too! <laughs> Good evening. This is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again. All right. Weird letter. Here we go. Theory boys Let's activate. Go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? All right, all right. Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Who knows? Dojima san saw that, so he took him to the station. A hey, real Theory boy hours right now, bro. Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Oof. Yosuke on the lead. Meanwhile, I had a room in the police station. I'm just sitting here by myself. Like, yo, can I at least watch TV or something? Like, give me a phone. One of those fidget things. Like, you know, keep yourself busy or, I don't know. It's midnight. Oh, there's the TV. Something may appear on the midnight channel. I love him just standing here. Can't see crap, bro. Uh, someone appeared. Uh, it's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Touch Nanako, you die! Oh no. There's no way you would you would mistake Nanako, whom you see every day. Oh god. This is getting pretty intense. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Oh god. Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Bro, you touch Nanako? I'm gonna snap your neck, bro. Oh, Naoto on the Was run. That Nanako -chan on the midnight channel just now? Oh, the whole the whole squad! The whole squad! How go, go! Go, go, go! I know what you're thinking, but Nanako chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. 
Oh my god, the one they interviewed was her! How? What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? They didn't. In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. Oh my god. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. Why would you do that, bro? But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. Jeez. Oh, what are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. She's gonna open the door to a mailman or somebody she knows and boom! Gone. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Alright, I'll join them right away. And I'll let Yukiko and Risa-chan know. Yes, please do. Yo, Naruto's been running like crazy. Alright. This is where this is where we're getting serious. Sometime later, in a room at the police station. What? <laughs> Still chilling what? here. What huh? are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Oh god. Nanako-chan's missing! Oh god. What? What do you mean? N Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Yo, let's just... Alright, let's just, let's just take a break. And look at how swag Yosuke is looking right now. Like, bro, this man came to... Dr he just dressed to impress, bro. Like, ugh. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. We're too late, bro. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. We're too late, bro. Oh my god. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. Oh, damn. Oh. Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Dude, he just threw Yosuke's phone. Nanako. Dojima san. Oh, this is real struggle hours right now, bro. Is this true? Has Nanako really been? We have to hurry. Yeah, we have to hurry, bro. Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... No. What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Oh, wow. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> But we caught the killer. You're next. Ask any more questions and you're next. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or <laughs> ransom letters? Look, look, he just asked two questions. <laughs> well, you're dead. You just doomed yourself. No, but damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Oh, Christ. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? 
I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. <laughs> but do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Oh boy. Why are we just chilling here, bro? <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Oh my god, this whole room is crowded. Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! <laughs> what the hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. <sighs> ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. No, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I, I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. I told you, it's someone she trusts, like that mailman. But then again, this na the neighborhood is not that big, so she probably knows everybody. It could be like Shiroku, Shiroku, you know, the old lady there. Daidara, bro, I don't know. You mean Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Someone she trusts. Precisely. The mailman. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Yeah, see? I, I believe that Nanako doesn't lie to us. So is the killer someone Nanachan knows? Uh, could be someone famous? No? Someone famous, maybe? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? But we don't really have anyone famous. It could be that guy who interviewed her. I don't know, man. Someone at her school? A friend of Dojima's? <sighs> bro, I don't got time for this, bro. Someone at her... Friend of Dojima's. Eh, probably not. Dojima-san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako-chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I'm telling you, it's famous people. Maybe. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Wow. So... Wow. Huh? TV? What? <laughs> Dodger's like, what the hell? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. How does that even work though? The, there was no f sign of struggle? I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. TV? Who the hell carries a 50-inch TV everywhere he goes? You think he's using a car? Obviously, you can't carry a big-ass TV by just running around. Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. Larger than However, a sedan? Like a mail... like a mail van! 
No unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? Okay, what kind of magic? No, it's a car that blends in. It's the mailman's car or the mailman's van. I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice. Is there such a thing? What, what would it be? Um... Guys, it doesn't have to be some, some stealth mode car. It's something that blends in. A black compact, no. Delivery truck, maybe. Taxi, too small. Police car. Too small. Delivery truck. That's right. Now I remember. Could be the ice cream man. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. Oh, shh. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. Same, bro. Like, a soon... If I see these people from Amazon delivering things, I just open the door. They could just kidnap me at any time, bro. Not good. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time. So he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone. Meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? <laughs> a profile formed by a bunch of kids. Um, bunch of kids? I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be a lot more difficult than... Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. See, I'm telling you, finally, their brain cells just start working. See? It, it's a miracle. It is a, it's a miracle. I better, I better... go tell Dojima-san. Okay. Go, 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 go! It's, how would you tell him? He's literally gone already. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Hmm. Is he going to be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Ah, uh, he's a normal guy. Nana-chan. Adachi-san. If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Wow. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Oh, what does that say? Oh, let's watch this. Why are you looking... Why are you looking so stressed? Is he pedaling the car? In there, oh. Coming for you. oh my god, Dojima's on the... Oh, Dojima. Whoa. Come on. How is he going to stop this car or this van? Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa! What the? Hey, is that smoke? Yo, did an accident? Did Dojima I? Oh shit! Dojima-san, are you all right? Wait, wait, wait! How did this guy get here? Yo, that's some witchcraft, bro. Got you, witch. Where's Nanako? How did he get here? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. How did he get here, bro? That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? What happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house when I saw him drive past me. <laughs> what I'm curious about is how did this guy get to the back of the car? Like, did he come out from the front and then crawled all the way to the back of the car? Like, I don't understand. I gave chase and he... Where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find them. Please. Did he come out of the windshield? But how? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe there's clues in the truck. TV's right there. I can see Wait, it. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Don't tell us what to do, Adachi. Mango head. <laughs> then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. <sighs> There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. Um, maybe not a cool, but I don't think some of us can fit there. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. <sighs> no, I'm kind of curious, bro. I'm kind of curious. How did a Dodge get here? I learn the existence of a new world. Thus, I must save people. Save? The hell does he mean by that? <gasps> this... It's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi. <laughs> Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. Ooh, the gold mine, baby! Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. Okay. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Ah, copycat killer. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. Hi. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! He's like, hey, can you check? So can you help me out with this delivery? It's pretty big. And then Nanako's like, okay. <laughs> Whoops! Oh my god, bro. Okay. We need to go save Nanako Chan. Here, let's use this TV and. Uh... Yo, we gonna kill Namatami? Uh, wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But I don't got time. What? I don't got time for this. We're going in. If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. <sighs> Dojima-san. <sighs> Reckless driving. 
Reckless driving. Oh. In the hospital. Vegema opens his eyes. It looks like he's regained consciousness. You guys. Are you alright? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you look pretty good. Nanako. She's my reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. She must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most, I'm... I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Dochi, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. We'll do everything we can. Uh, trust us and get some rest. Uh. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah, this is it. Let's go all out and get it done. All right, let's do this. I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Easy things. We'll grind, we'll grind, we'll grind everything, bro. We'll do everything. We gotta save her. Yeah, so let's save her. We're doing it for Dojima-san too. <laughs> He'll owe us another watermelon. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on, we can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. I know everyone's united and stuff, but I'm still kind of nervous. Wow! I draw the ninth card in play! The full arcana. Uh, you'll rescue Nanako for sure before, uh, before the next foggy day. Yeah, we will. I don't even care. Even if we don't have a persona, bro, we're gonna rescue her. Oof, we're going now? Let's go. <sighs> this is where it begins. Look at this thick fog. Does this have something to do with all the fuss about the fog lately? Something's weird in here. I think all the commotion in town has been affecting this world, too. Well, we need to hurry now. Rise, can you tell which direction Nanako-chan is in? Hey. 
This is the sickest. I've, like Persona. I sense her that way. Wow, what's this warm feeling? Like literally, if I can get internet off of Risa's Persona, I'ma just. She's a keeper, you know. <laughs> Senpai, we need to save her. I. Warm place. Let's go. Like a bathhouse or something. Okay. She was pretty cold, she said. So, warm place, warm place. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Teddy. Seriously, man. This is Nanako chan's? It's so beautiful. It's like a storybook vision of heaven. Like heaven, huh? Deep down, Nanako-chan must really miss her. Heaven, wow. I'm sure she does. She's only a child. In her heart of hearts, Nanako seems to have missed her deceased mother. We have to do everything in our power to rescue her. I'll do my best. I, I'll need all of you. Yeah, let's go. Of course. We're gonna rescue Nanachan no matter what. We can find Namatame later and give him what's coming to him then. First, we need to rescue Nanako-chan. Oh, pearly gates. Jeez, dude, this reminds me of Diablo. The diamond gates. Oh. Uh, okay, so let's... Wow. How do we save? Can I go back? Oh, I can. Wow. First paradise. What's this bad feeling I'm getting? Nanako-chan, just hang in there. We'll save you. Yo, that's good. That's good music. That's good music. Uh oh. Dude, this place looks awesome. Look. So this is Nanako's, you know, idea of... These things better be good. Confusion hat? So like dodge confusion? Wow. What is this? Oh, we found the way up, down, I don't know. How do you go? Oh, upwards. Wow, you climb up the beanstalk. Jack in the beanstalk. Heaven is literally the top of everything, so I don't know how many floors this is gonna be. <laughs> Nanako. Why did you have to choose something that's like unlimited? 